Welcome to Tweet of the Week. I am very excited to introduce our newly elected student member of the board, Sam Stars, from Oakdale High School. Sam, welcome. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. And congratulations on your election to that position. And first, talk a little bit about what motivated you to want to be the student member of the Board of Education. Yeah, so um, over quarantine, I was noticing a lot of my peers were becoming very uh, passionate about certain issues in society, but also in the county. Um, and I was noticing they had all these great ideas, but they didn't necessarily know how to um, uh, achieve change. And I believe that the student member of the board is one of the best ways to achieve change in our school system, especially uh, for a student. Um, so I wanted to become the student member of the board so that I could reach out to students like them and uh, have their great ideas be heard by the Board of Education and allow them to achieve change at the county level. Well, you just described it perfectly, Sam, and I know that our board members do value the voice of the student member of the board very much because you bring a very important perspective because, as I often say when I'm meeting with seniors, students are the reason we exist in Frederick County Public Schools. So as you were campaigning, and I guess that was a little bit different too, having to do all of that virtually. Oh, yeah. What were some of the things that you really felt you wanted to focus on as the new student member of the board? Yeah, so prior to my campaign, I would talked to a few students and I'd also just <clears throat> observed my peers. And um, among many things that students are passionate about, I noticed, um, are mental health awareness and support and uh, ensuring uh, social equity within our school system. So looking forward to July 1st, those are two of the things that I will look to um, advocate for and find solutions to, um, as well as um, guiding the board's decision making as we return back to school. Wonderful. And Sam, you had said that, you know, again, we had to adapt to a lot of things. We're looking forward to next year, hopefully being a little bit more normal. But in order for you to connect and hear from students, what are some of the things you would encourage the student body to do in order to reach out to you and share their thoughts and ideas. Yes, so when I take the role July 1st, um, we of course won't be in school, so it might be more difficult than usual for uh, me to get in touch with students. So it's really important that students follow uh, the SMOB's different social media accounts. There's one on Twitter and there's one on Instagram. Um, and that way, students can reach out to me and give me their concerns, but I can also keep them in the loop and inform them on the decision making that's going to be happening um, looking forward to next school year. And I you know, don't know how many of our students watch board meetings, but I think it was very powerful this year when our current student member of the board, uh, Mia Martinez, would put some polls out on Twitter. And she could come back to board meetings and she would share the results of those questions that she had sent out. And again, it, it resonates a lot with our board members when they can hear what our students are thinking. Absolutely. And I commend you on the two pieces of your platform because I do feel that, again, you're going to find a lot of support among your fellow board members for looking at how do we do a better job with mental health support for our students and then how do we continue to grow and evolve and becoming a truly more equitable school system and addressing some of the social issues that we've seen in the last year. Um, and it will be our young leaders who many times will, will be the courageous ones helping guide us yeah. um, on that journey. So I really look forward to getting an opportunity to work with you, Sam. I thank you for giving me some of your valuable time today. And is there anything else you want FCPS and everyone watching Tweet of the Week to know about Sam Stars? Uh, I'm excited to start and uh, looking forward to representing the students. Thank you. So, our new student member of the board, you heard him use the acronym SMOB. Um, so if you ever hear that, you will know what they are referring to. We'll be beginning July 1st. He has shared some social media, and I believe we will be posting those for you so that you can connect with him this summer because starting July 1, Sam is ready to get going and bring change to yes. Frederick County Public Schools. Thank you for joining us again on Tweet of the Week. We hope to see you next time.